So, obviously, we've got a general election at some point, <laughs> wherever that may happen to be. Um, and Rishi Sunak, I think, is quite rightly, almost in every single interview you have seen, at least for the past three or so weeks that I have seen, the question continuously comes up and should be continuously brought up, when is the general election going to be? Because we don't know. Like I say, because they've taken out the Fixed Term Parliament Act, we don't know when it's going to be. I think it would be good for Labour to find a way to bring back the Fixed Term Parliament Act and especially look at a way so that, you know, if the Conservatives come back in, they can't, well, then remove it. <laughs> because the whole point of this, in particular, why, uh, why like, well, why Dominic Cummings wanted to get rid of the Fixed Term Parliament Act is he saw it more as an opportunity. He thought, or at least saw the Fixed Term Parliament Act as rather than having five years to, to sort of do what you wanted uh, in, in sort of government, you, you the Fixed Term Parliament Act sort of limited you uh, in many ways. And he wanted to have more time. In fact, he said it would actually be better um, if, if for sex said in the past, it would be better if, if governments had the ability to, to sort of call it when a, an election was more advantageous to us. And that was one of the things why we brought in the Fixed Term Parliament Act, so that governments could not do that. Um, you know, we are having this exact conversation now. It is just showing you right now why the Fixed Term Parliament Act was such a good idea and why we should have it. In fact, that is something people, I would actually like to see a question given to Rishi Sunak. Um, if he is refusing to call at a general election, the follow-up call, the follow-up question should be, if you are refusing to call a, a, a general election, um, should you should not then this be the case to bring back the Fixed Term Parliament Act? That would be a very interesting question to see put to Rishi Sunak. Uh, and I would hope out there, maybe a journalist, I don't know if the journalist will ever see this, but please do ask that question of Rishi Sunak. I think it deserves a question to be asked and should be brought back into public consciousness that we have, you know, we've lost this, um, uh, you know, really, you know, precious sort of ability. However, we're not talking about a uh, fixed term parliament act, uh, but we are sort of talking about potentially when the next general election is. And of course, warnings today, <laughs> warnings today, that according to John Bolton, this is an ex aide of of not only the White House. He was very sort of in with the sort of whole Trump administration. Um, he has come out in a recent interview to say that Trump would absolutely intervene and get involved into UK into the UK's election. <laughs> so. Obviously, at this moment, it's obvious which way he would where he would sway and who he would put his weight behind. He would probably say uh, reform UK, like saying Nigel Farage has, has has popped across the pond a fair few times to sort of you know back Trump at different rallies, etc. So it's not surprising that if Trump did decide to sort of you know get involved, um, then yeah, it would absolutely be reform UK. He would come down on. So we're going to have a look at what he said in, about this uh, and. Why, because ultimate, this would favour Reform UK. So, before we do get into this, uh, please do remember to click on the like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and our rotation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And of course, there is the YouTube thank you button. There's the Pony Club down below as well, uh, the YouTube subscription that you can join. Um, and of course, uh, it, it was, well, Wednesday yesterday, but I forgot it was Wednesday. So there is now a Pony Club video for this weekend. And of course, you get access to all the other videos that we've made uh, for the Pony Club as well. So like I say, go check those out. Uh, and of course, thank you very much to everyone who does support the channel. Even if you do, just click the like and share button. And of course, on with this. So let's see what this is. So Donald Trump is not afraid to intervene in the UK election this year uh, and also potentially injecting now further chaos into British politics. His former national security, John Bolton, has now warned. Trump would also cause major strategic problems for the British government over NATO and Ukraine if he becomes president again. What have we been saying all this time about this and the problems that that would cause? Not only, of course, uh, if America left NATO, but of course, Ukraine, if if you know 
if they decide to pull out, and there should be, I should hope, and I've talked about this before, at least plans within Labour to really, really, really go to Europe and to go, right, how can we find a way to compensate for, you know, for, for the US sort of cutting off um, all the funding and the support for Kiev. Uh, there is, I think, a very, very strong case to be made, uh, really, for uh, us and France to really get our heads together and really talk and find a way and solutions around that, not only just uh, between us two, but a what larger, sort of wider sort of European support and aid package that can bring more support to Kiev to have that up. So, um, so where are we? So yes, uh, here we are. So America's former ambassador to the United, Na uh, to United Nations uh, said that European leaders were right to prepare for the case uh, if the Republican ends the US membership of NATO and stops Washington support, uh, military support for Kiev. Uh, the best hope of trying to avoid the defense crisis may be try to co divert his mind away from a NATO withdrawal onto other issues, advised Mr. Bolton. He's also concerned by how brief and unclear Mr. Trump's statements have been on the Israel-Gaza war. Trump, who wished Reform UK's honorary president, Nigel Farage, a happy birthday in a video last week, has record, has now been causing record number of headache headaches for British politicians. Shortly before the 2019 general election, he shocked Whitehall officials by sharing very blunt views about the British party's leaders on a radio show. Mr. Bolton said that this was, quote, not a good idea diplomatically, but his former boss may also well be, uh, well, may well do so again this time, saying that it is entirely possible he would say something that he wouldn't care about the conventions or just not interfering, he said. Bolton has also said that it would be a very prominent critic of his party's likely presidential nominee following the uh, acrimonious departure from the Trump administration back in September of 2019. Um, he also continued to say that uh, Mr. Trump hasn't got the brains to run a di dictatorship and is merely a property developer, for God's sake. Um, so, yeah, obviously, if Trump gets back in again, I hope not. I, and I know, I know there are polls, there's all these other stuff that say, you know, he's likely not to win, but I've said this before November is a long time to wait. I remember. We were saying this back in 2016. Oh, Trump's not going to win. Hillary's got this in the bag. I could say the exact same about our upcoming general elections. Just because, you know, Labour's vastly in the polls, do not underestimate them. Go out and vote. So, you know, the possibility, like I say, if he gets in, it's going to be a lot of problems he is going to cause. We've talked about this plenty of times, not only on here, but on Geoscope, but on Labour Social as well. So. You know, <laughs> I'll said it. I've said it once, and I'll keep on saying it. November is a long time to hold your breath, a very long time. So, until then, as I say, as always, um, let me know what you think down below in the comments, and of course, as always, do click on the like and share button on your way out. And of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.